And as we do inch closer to the ball drop, local law enforcement agencies are urging drivers to be smart. The statewide booze it and lose it campaign runs until January 1st and the Guilford County Sheriff's Office is preparing for what could be a busy weekend. Fox 8's Justin Lundy is live outside the Guilford County Sheriff's Office after riding along with their DWI task force. Justin, how do they plan to prevent impaired drivers from getting behind the wheel? Katie, a spokesperson for the task force tells me that they'll have checkpoints all over Guilford County this weekend. And not only will they be looking for drunk drivers, but also folks who aren't wearing seat belts or speeding so everyone can have a safe holiday weekend on the roads. Lights on and sirens blaring. Sergeant Stephen Garlic with the Guilford County Sheriff's Office DWI task force says his team will be on the roads in undercover cars like this as we enter New Year's weekend. If you do notice anything um, where someone is all over the road or, or swerving or even asleep at the wheel at a, at a stoplight, we see that a lot. Definitely call, just call 911. According to the Guilford County Sheriff's Office, from October 2022, to September 2023, there have been 572 alcohol-related traffic crashes in Guilford County alone. 11 of those were fatal. Sergeant Garlic says he's seen several drunk driving accidents over his 12-year career, some worse than others. I mean, I, there's, there's countless wrecks and fatalities, injuries, where kid, children have been injured, and those are the worst. Um, you know, where a parent may be the driver of the vehicle that may be impaired, or an impaired driver hits a family, you know, coming home from um, a family event or church or something like that. To prevent more tragedies from happening, Garlic says they'll have checkpoints and patrols all around Guilford County this holiday weekend. Um, we're focusing our efforts primarily in higher trafficked areas um, where people may be coming from bars or um, parties and that sort of thing. While the DWI task force monitors the roads, Garlic says the best thing you can do is have a plan beforehand. A uh, designated driver, um, have a friend or family member that can pick you up, uh, ride sharing services such as Uber and Lyft, um, or even any kind of public transportation that may be available. Garlic says that there are 38 deaths every day nationwide due to alcohol related car accidents. Reporting in Guilford County, Justin Lundy, Fox 8 News. Justin, thank you.